Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest ASC interview experience of Accenture. This interview happened today only, that is on 17th October 2023. So, as make sure that you are watching this video till the end because I will be discussing all the questions as well as I will be giving the suggestions for e for the answers for each of these questions. Okay, so as make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And guys. Many of you have requested me, so we have started taking the mock interviews for Accenture ASC role on TopMate. I will give you the link in the description box. This slot are very, very limited. So if you want to book your mock interview, do it as soon as possible because slots are very limited. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please make sure that you are subscribing this channel, hitting the like button for this video as well as joining our Telegram groups also. because. Daily, I am trying to upload different different hirings which are going on and the different different uh, placements opportunity that are coming through. So, guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 17th October 2023. That is today only. The branch of my friend was CSC. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. So, the first question that was asked from him was introduce yourself. And guys, if you will look back on my channel and you will see the interview experiences of different different companies you will find that this question is very much common in all the interviews because through this question the interviewer wants to know about you you can uh, you can include your skills your extracurricular activities your projects your internships any research papers you have published any of your hobbies extracurricular activities all these things you can include in your introduce yourself okay so keep to try to keep your answer to precise around one minute it will be a good answer okay so i hope this particular question is clear to you. Next question was explain different types of inheritance in Java. So in Java, there are majorly three types of inheritance. That, that is single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, as well as hierarchical inheritance. So I hope these diagrams are clear for the understanding of this inheritance purpose. Okay. The next question was how can we e uh, achieve multiple inheritance in Java? So as we all know, through classes, multiple inheritance in Java is not possible. Therefore, we use interfaces. Now, next question, interview, interviewer will ask what are interfaces, okay? So, you must know all the things around this particular question. It's a very much important question as per the interview is concerned, okay? So, I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is explain the final keyword in Java. So, final keyword can be used at three places. First, with the variables, that is final variables. It means once the value is assigned to a final variable, it cannot be changed. Next is final methods. So if final is written with the method, it cannot be override. The method cannot be override. Okay. Next is the final class. If a class has been given a final keyword, it means that particular class cannot be inher inherited. Okay. So I hope this particular final keyword is also clear to you. Okay, so the next question was discuss your project in detail. So guys, if you will look on all the Accenture interviews, so this question is asked and the Accenture interviews pretty much revolves around your projects and the question related to your project and internships. So make sure that you are at least mentioning two projects in your resume, that two technical ones, and you have a detailed explanation of those projects to the interviewer because questions can be asked from anywhere from the project. So the technologies that you are using and anything extra that you are doing in that project, you must be, you must know each and everything about that because interviewer can ask you and you will get stuck if you are just like uh, simply giving simple answers to the interviewer. Okay. So just make sure to include at least two projects in your resume and prepare them very well. Okay. So I hope this question is also clear to you. And if you do not know how to explain your project in the interview, I have made a separate video that is a dedicated video on my channel, which I have discussed step by step how to explain your project in the Inter interview. I will give the link in the i button as well as in the description box. Okay, so now let's move ahead. Next question is explain the difference between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so why this question was asked? So the project of this candidate was based on the web designing, okay, front end and some uh, something back end. So therefore, the question was asked from what is the difference between HTML, CSS, and, CSS, and JavaScript? These all the these three languages are used in the front end part. Okay, so this is the major difference between HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you want to know, you can always take the screenshot for this particular uh, image. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. By this question, I meant that you must prepare your project very well. Any technology that you are using in your project, you must be aware of that technology. Okay. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is describe, describe your internship experience. 
so this particular candidate for which i am sharing the interview experience so he had done an internship so therefore this internship question was asked but if you have not mentioned any of the internships in your resume then the majority of the focus will be on your projects okay so do prepare them well and if you have your internship experience that is very good and you can simply describe that what all work you did in your internship in <laughs> internship duration is around 1.5 to 2 months so therefore you will have a good knowledge of the project you are working on and you can explain everything in detail to the interviewer okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is what was your role in the internship so as in this particular question see you are working in a company uh, for two months okay so it will not be it will not be happening that you are given a solo project you will always be working in a team and in team your roles are divided your work is divided so what is your particular role that is what was your responsibility to develop what feature or what action you want you were assigned to perform in your internship duration you will have to explain that in detail okay so i know there are a lot of questions and since you are giving the interview first time you must be face uh, facing some nervousness so don't worry again i'm telling you we have started taking the mock interviews mock interviews for accenture asc link i will give in the description box if you are nervous we will take your mock interview okay you can book your slot but slots are very limited so book as soon as possible okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now moving to the next question next question is explain a scenario wherein you faced conflict and you resolved it so guys scenario based questions are also asked in accenture so in this particular uh, in this particular question you will have to find a scenario in your entire life whether it is 11 12 10th or internship or in college so any where you have found any conflict in your life and how you try to resolve it so just uh, make sure one thing that the answers to these questions should be in a positive manner and do not say no i have not faced conflict as of now if you have not faced make it up just you will have to give a good answer and a positive answer for these particular questions okay so i hope this particular question is also clear to you last question of this interview was any questions for me so whenever interviewer ask the interviewer is asking you do you have any doubts regarding the company so you can ask one or two questions from him he will feel very good and he will be answering to you you can ask that what will your role in the organization what all projects you will be working on what all technologies you will be working on what does company expects from me all these things you can ask from the interviewer okay so i hope all these interview questions were clear to you and if you want more such interview experiences do comment down and like this video i will be posting these uh, interviews in future and in past also i have <coughs> mentioned them okay so just make sure to subscribe this channel and if you want to give mock interviews links you will find in the description box so thank you for watching this video